Good, good afternoon, everybody. I am very, very pleased today. I've never done this before. I've never done a video on Facebook or whatever, but today I want to say something which is very pertinent. Very, very. Women should stop. I said stop carrying out barbaric actions in the name of revenging or in the name of I caught him cheating and um, he deserved what I did to him. I just saw a photo on Facebook and the woman had to pour hot boiled water on the husband or boyfriend or spouse. I don't even care to know. Because the man left his phone in, his, in the house. The man forgot his phone in the house. He came back to pick up his phone. And I don't know what that woman saw in that phone. That gave her the impetus to pour hot boiled water on him. And that, has to, that, that deformed his face. My dear women, girls, ladies, please... Before carrying out such acts, you need to understand that that man is somebody's son. I have a son. And I don't think no matter what he does or he would do in the future, warrants such a barbaric behavior or action towards him. You have no right. If you catch your man with a woman or maybe that was just a message. It's just a message. Yes, what if he's cheating on you? So what? So what? Can you own a man? Were you born together? Will you die together? What is your problem? Why do you want to kill somebody's child because he cheats on you? Aren't you cheating? You see boys every day. They, they do talk to you. you. At times you even make love to them in your dream. Is that not cheating? You are married to another man but you are in love with another man. Is that not cheating? I'm not even talking about you. the things that you, you women are doing. I know so many married women who are cheating on their husbands. Some even go outside, even taking in for them, for their boyfriends who are married. What is it? Has a man come and killed you? Please, we should stop doing all of that. It's so wrong. It's so wrong. If a man, can you even satisfy one man? If your husband is with you, like, with, without him going out, will you be able to satisfy him? Even if you are a nympho, you will not be able. Because you can't. It's just a man. And you have some good men out there don't even, that don't, don't even think of it. Do you know the mental slavery that you women put men each day in their houses, but they are there, they persevere because they are already married to you? They don't want to go against their rules and traditions of being divorced or so? See... I'm so pissed. I've never done a video like this before. I always write and I guess nobody has seen my face. But today I want you guys to understand something. Stop putting men through barbaric whatsoever revenge or attitude because you want to show him that you are angry. If you do that to my son, I bet you I'll kill you. You have no rights whatsoever. How can a woman pour hot water on a man? Because he because maybe I read one message in his phone and he's cheating on me. So what? Are you the first or you'll be the last? If you're tired of the marriage, you get out of it. Oh, rubbish. I'm warning all those girls out there. My future daughter-in-law, be warned. If you do that on my son, you're, you, you're not going you're to leave his house, but I'll kill you. I will kill you. So don't even go there. There's so many ways, my dear sisters and friends, there's so many ways to make a man understand that he has hurt you. You must not be barbaric with him. Okay, you've deformed his face, right? Have you deformed his penis? Have you deformed his character? No, yes, it's still there. So what you so uh, so you, you think what you just did has changed anything? Instead, you've just shown the monster that you are, and no man wants to be with the monster. Oh my God! Please let's grow up. It's normal. It's it's normal. Yeah, we are not saying that cheating is good, but please, it's not the end of the world. There are so many ways to make a man change. Before you got married to him, you know that he was, he was somebody who loves a lot of women. So why are you pretending now? If you married a man, before you met him, he was smoking. Do you think he's going to change? Do you think he's going to change? You need to accept him for who he is. 
So if you know you married a flirt when you was with you, had about five girlfriends, you came. There is no man you meet that will be single. Women come in and take over. There is no man you meet who is single, my sister. You come and take over. You create your impact in his life and you leave. If he decides to be with you, then fine. You will meet him, you have 15 girlfriends. But you have your things that made him to fall for you. And say, no, men don't marry for love or for sex. They marry for, for stability. And stability comes with respect. What are you talking about? So because he cheats on you, you want to kill him. He's, he's very wrong. He's so very wrong. Please, let's grow up here. Eh, and stop being childish. Do you know why our mothers today still stay in marriages? And our generation, we cannot stay in marriages. Because... We are childish. We are childish. We are still, we, we, we react so easily. Maturity is not age. Maturity is how you can be able to take in situations and be responsible for them. So please, my brothers and sisters, my brothers, my sisters, my, my aunts, my, my elders, please let's stop carrying up barbaric acts towards men. There are so many other ways you can treat a man who is cheating on you. And believe you me, he's going to change. So when you shout all the time and pour hot water on him and you maltreat him, that's not going to change. And before you got married to him, you knew him. And if you got married to that man, that man was a good man and now he has changed, know that you are the cause of it. Do you know what men go through every day in the hands of women? Please, let's respect our men. Let's treat them as human beings. Treat your man like your brother. If you see your man like your brother, you will not pour hot water on him. We are their mothers. We are their sisters. We are everything. Because they came through us. So why treat them that way? Okay, thank you. I've said my own. You are not forced, you are not compelled to accept what I'm saying. But please, it's important for us to respect people. Just have a good heart. You must not react in a barbaric way for you to show that you're angry. There are so many ways you can go about it. Thank you.